week what we've been doing um, so we did plant some potatoes earlier in the week uh, last week and I uh, went ahead and got the tomatoes all potted up today um, so I hope you guys will enjoy the video it probably won't be a super long one but uh, just want to take you along and keep you updated on what we got going on here over at our little homestead so Amber and I are back here in the backyard um, no-till plot uh, if you didn't see the last video where we uh, put this in, you should definitely go check it out. So, um, Anyhow, so we got the plot all done. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to plant some potatoes. Um, and then through the rest of the video, I'm just going to kind of give you a recap of our week. So uh, so this is Sunday, and we're going to plant some potatoes. You ready to plant some potatoes? Yeah. All right, we got a sack full of potatoes. Uh, seed potatoes here my buddy at uh lazar farm uh ben lazar he uh was kind enough and give us his leftovers that he didn't plant so i really appreciate that ben uh, if you guys aren't following him on tiktok uh you should he their family is uh another virginia uh farmer and they have a, a place that they uh farm out in Powhatan, i believe and so if you guys want to follow them i'll put a link in the description again it's the lazar family farm and uh we're gonna go ahead and get some of these potatoes planted so they have some nice eyes on them and uh, they look like they're just ready to go in the ground you ready to plant some potatoes yeah so first we're going to plant these two rows in this we're just going to kind of make some little furrows here What's a furrow? A furrow is a trench that you make in the ground with your rake. Hey, what's a trench? It's like a groove in the ground. Hey, Dad, can I try? Drag it back. Are you ready? We're going to plant these. We're going to try and get them with the eyes facing up. So. So we got our eye. Let's go ahead and drop it in there. Yep. Grab a couple more. We're gonna put them about a foot and a half or so apart. Go ahead, sweetie. That's, we gotta space it out a little bit more, though. Okay. See where Daddy's put his. There you go. About like that. Yep. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get these raked in. All we're going to do is cover them up. And we're not going to water these at all until we see some green coming up out of the dirt. So, And even after that, not too much. I refill this. If you guys didn't see the video on how to make this, it's about 10 bucks. I'll post the link in the description. It's really easy to make, and you guys should make one. plant some Seeds. some okra here so a lot of time yeah so a lot of people just direct seed their okra and I did try that last year but something was eating my seedlings as soon as they came up so I uh, went ahead and did uh, started some and then transplanted those did really well so I'm gonna be doing that this year I'm gonna be using some or planting some of this Okinawa pink okra for pink my sister okra? Yep, it's like pinkish red, and it's from my sister, Ashley. And then we're going to grow some more of the uh, Louisiana green velvet. We really like that. Made some really nice, big, thick pods. And then the other thing I'm going to be planting today 
is going to be this Rio Grande uh, determinant tomato. Uh, it's like a Roma type. I'm going to be planting that, uh, a couple of those for my mother-in-law that I'm going to give her. And we may uh, plant some too. Here, Mimi. Alright, are you ready to plant some seeds? Yeah. Right. yeah. Can you write pink okra on that? P I N K. Green okra. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Go ahead and go stick it in that one. Here, put it. Let's put it. There you go. Right. Let's plant, guys. All right, so we're going to give Levi the green okra. All right, put one seed, one in each of the holes for the green okra. I'm going to give one. Amber, I'm going to give you the pink okra. Daddy, look. And you put one I seed in the pink okra, okay? Don't spill them. One seed if you can, if we have enough. Do one for each pink okra. Okay, you got it, Levi? So these are green, so the pink's down here. Make sure you do one of each. Green okra. Right there. Are you guys ready to eat some okra this summer? Um, maybe. I don't know what okra tastes like. I thought you had fried okra before. Maybe, but Did you I'll run out of seeds, Am? Yeah. That's all right. All right, so these tomatoes are pretty much past due needing to get potted up. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to take these outside. I have Amber out here with me. We're going to get some of these tomatoes put in the cups. Uh, the cups have holes in the bottom of them already. But I'll give you guys a little bit closer a look to the tomatoes or at the tomatoes. Some of them are getting a little yellow and probably a little too big for this uh these little cells but they're doing pretty well so we're gonna go ahead and get these uh pulled out and put into some of these cups so gonna go ahead and pull this whole tray out right here and just kind of squeeze this little bit the cell from the bottom gently and lift it out so they're actually not too bad, like root bound or anything like that, so that's good. Go ahead and get these planted in here. Now with tomatoes, you can plant them, plant them deep because they will root all along this Daddy right here. Got one. So we're gonna go ahead and plant this in here. Might try and get this a little deeper. Right, so we got a cup here. It's got some holes in the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of dirt in here. Like I said, I want to plant these tomatoes a little deeper than they actually are right now. So we're going to pull this one out. This is a Cherokee purple. It's going to be a nice pretty purple tomato. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plant that up to about right here. So we got that in our cup. Another cup with some dirt. We're just going to fill it on up. Basically all the way to the top. go we're gonna make sure to water these really well when we get done this is a nice pineapple tomato these are like an orange and yellow bicolor tomato very sweet supposedly so very interested to try these I've never really grown these um, but yeah I really I'm really doing a big variety of tomatoes this year and I hope you guys will follow along and I'll give you a I'll just kind of try and keep you updated on what our favorite tomatoes are. Careful, Nelly. get the hose and water these guys all in real quick and then put them in their own little trays and get in the overpacked greenhouse here so this greenhouse is busting at the seams uh, this time of year all our peppers are in here 
doing really well. Uh, still got about two weeks to maybe three weeks until we can plant these out, but they're going to be big and uh, we should hopefully get a nice early pepper harvest, I'm hoping. So uh, I got to make some room in the greenhouse here to put some more trays in and uh, yeah, so it's getting time almost. All right, I think I'm out of space here in this greenhouse. Uh, I might try and expand next year and get a little bigger one. This one's not the sturdiest, but it's worked for us. But uh, all these tomatoes are potted up, and that's pretty much all there is to it today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you uh, did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and uh, hopefully you'd share it with your friends. Uh, but anyhow, thanks for watching, and God bless.